When we started looking at these people that had more order in their nervous system, in their heart and their brain, and we started looking at their blood, the information that we uncovered in that blood showed a profound effect on the biology of the cell. The new information that was no longer coming from the person's senses, but coming from frequency, and frequency is literally carrying the information. And the information that's carried on the blood is selecting and instructing those genes in really favorable ways. The blood now is more holy, it's more whole. It's got greater order, greater chemistry, greater resilience. It has information in it that is literally upregulating genes. Whatever is in that blood tends to cause the chaos, the immortality of the cancer cell to no longer have the same amount of energy that the cells all of a sudden dial way down. And that explains why this blood that tends to be more royal, why a lot of people with cancers and other serious health conditions heal either in time or in a very short amount of time. So think about that royal blood when you sit down to do the work because new thoughts and new choices, even though sometimes it's hard to make new choices, new acts, new behaviors, new experiences, new emotions that are created by you on a regular basis does have profound effects on your genetic future, on your health and your biology.